I have been wanting to make this video for so long. Today is mine and Sala's one year wedding anniversary, which is just so crazy. I cannot believe this year flew by so fast. And so kind of in honor of that, I thought I would show you guys how I did my own wedding makeup on my wedding day. And yes, I did my own wedding makeup because I just feel like I know my face best. It was just something I wanted to do for myself. And I worked for months and months and months to try out new products products, try techniques, just to figure out what my ultimate timeless wedding makeup would be. And this is the look that I came up with. A few things are different from what I did on my actual wedding day. Like for example, I have fake lashes on right now, which uh, they're kind of lifting in the center. So just ignore that. My actual wedding day, I had eyelash extensions. But if you guys want to learn how to achieve this makeup look, then please keep watching and let's just get straight into the tutorial. So to start off my wedding makeup tutorial, the most important thing about this is the skin preparation. At least a day or two in advance, I would make sure to dermaplane or shave your face. And my skin currently is about like two or three days it's been since I shaved it because that will ensure that the makeup applies very smoothly. There's no like little peach fuzz coming through and it gets rid of dead skin. And then I um, maybe two hours ago applied my daily moisturizer and sunscreen, which is the CeraVe Daily Moisturizing Lotion and the Ulta MD Sensitive Skin Sunscreen. Those are just my tried and true products. Make sure you stick to what you know. You don't want to try anything new the day of your wedding, a week before, a month before. The day of my wedding, I used for a primer the Milk Makeup hydro grip primer you want to use a really grippy primer so that like the makeup really sticks to your face and lasts throughout the day i'm gonna make sure to focus that on the center of my face make sure i press it into the skin i'm gonna go ahead and go in with this itacha dewy skin cream just kind of like under my eyes to really make sure that they are moisturized so that we prevent creasing and dry spots. And you wanna make sure you let your primer and moisturizer sit for at least like five to 10 minutes or until it feels like it's really absorbed in your skin. If you notice a slight change of background, I moved my little hoodie rack to the side because I felt like it was a little distracting. And I also forgot to mention, don't forget to moisturize your lips. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and do my brows. I use the Precisely My Brow Pencil from Benefit Cosmetics and the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Gel. So I'm gonna do that off camera. So the reason why we do our eyebrows first is so that if you need to kind of clean them up, we can do that before you apply the foundation. So I'm gonna take the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer on a little brush like this and just kind of clean up the edges. Okay, so for foundation, you guys know I have talked about this foundation multiple times. It is the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. I just think like you need to have the perfect foundation. It's the base of your makeup. And this one gives full coverage, yet a natural finish. It's glowy, it looks like skin, it is long lasting. So I just think it's perfect. So I'm gonna mix two shades actually to get my perfect match. So something I did not do on my wedding day because I didn't have this product is use the e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Filter Primer. And I might just go ahead and use it because if I were to do my wedding makeup today, I would want to use a glowy product like this. I believe I might have used the MAC strobe cream on my wedding day just on the high points of my face you want to look like you are glowing from within okay now i'm gonna kind of add that foundation with my finger and kind of like blend it onto my skin with my finger and i always use a beauty blender to tap this out you want to make sure that you blend like you know into your hairline kind of on your ear depending on how much of your non-face is showing and then my forehead is always naturally a little bit darker than the rest of my face we're gonna correct that later on when we contour and bronze up the skin so on my wedding i used again the born this way concealer and i also mixed it with this color pop pretty fresh hyaluronic creamy concealer because this one is lighter than this one so it gives that highlight effect but the born this way has a really nice creamy and full coverage long lasting formula i'm gonna apply it kind of in that like upside down triangle shape and you want to let it sit there for a little bit just so it can turn from like more liquid to cream and so that it'll be full coverage and that is kind of the key to getting that full coverage under eye all right on top of that i add a little bit of the color pop one and while we let that sit, I'm going to go in with my cream contour and the Milk Makeup 
bronzing stick is a really good formula. It is so creamy. I warm that up on the back of my hand. We apply it to the cheekbones, forehead, and chin, or jawline. This and I blend it with this A Cosmetics brush, kind of in an upwards tapping motion. For the jawline, I use little circular motions to blend because you really do not want a harsh line there, yet you still want it to kind of like pop. So again, with that same beauty sponge, I'm gonna blend it out, but really what I'm doing is lightly tapping and blending out the edges. And for the under eyes, you really wanna focus on not tapping too much, like taking off too much coverage, just really blending the edges and tapping off any excess. And then we blend it onto the eyelids as well. I might go back in with a little more of the cream contour just to enhance it now that everything is blended out. I know I look kinda crazy right now, but it'll all come together. And a really beautiful blush is so important for brides, I feel like. And I love the Rare Beauty Cream Blush in the shade Encourage. It's like a rosy, just like looks like you're blushing from within color. Before I set anything, I'm gonna add a good amount of this and it might look like a lot at first but as we you know set our face with powder and as the day wears off on us you're gonna need a good amount of this so i'll apply to the apples of my cheek and kind of work in like that upward motion and i like to use this sort of flat brush to blend that out and we're almost like blending it into the concealer and like this, so it really lifts the face. As you see, that blended out really effortlessly and I'm going to layer on a little more. You can always add more, but it's hard to take away. Now we're gonna set our under eyes. Hands down, the best setting powder for under eyes is this Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder and I use the shade one. And I find that it helps the most with minimizing creasing. So blend out any creases under my eyes and then I set it with a brush like this. And you want to work it back and forth so you really kind of tack all those creases and set the lids of course as well for setting the rest of my face i'm gonna say use that same powder but i'm gonna mix shade one and shade two to get my perfect match and i like to use a big fluffy brush like this and then i even go in with a loose translucent powder so i like to layer this on the under eyes to catch any fallout so for the eyes my look was kind of a like a more glam really accentuated my eyes made them pop look i used the makeup by mario master mattes palette the first thing i'm going to do is go in with a fluffy brush and i'm going to go in with matte four which is this guy right here and just kind of dust this throughout the crease then I'm going to take a bit of a smaller yet still fluffy blending brush and I'm going to add this like poopy brown shade here, shade matte 5, and focus them more in the crease but like kind of the outer crease. And you can see I'm kind of like flicking it outwards to create that like effect. <laughs> and in between each step, just to make sure everything is blended together, I go back in with that an original fluffy brush and just kind of blend out the edges. Okay, then I'm going to go in with these two um, shades here and I combine them. And again, we're just like, we start off big and then we're concentrating it with each step. So this is an even smaller fluffy uh, blending brush and outer V or whatever of the eye. And then I kind of use the excess to blend it a little upwards just to carve out the eye like that. Now I'm going to go in probably with this shade right here to kind of add that shadow effect along the lash line and kind of like wing it out. I feel like shadow gives a really nice soft like soft glam effect. You want to stick really close to your lash line and you're going to have to practice this because everyone's eye shape is different. And then I just kind of follow to the edge of the end of my eyebrow. The wing is complete and it's gonna be kind of like blended out as I keep kind of working in the, on the outer corners. So I'm gonna go back in with these brown shades and just, and just kind of like deepen everything up. Now I'm gonna add 
some shimmer. So the palette that I used on my wedding is the Hangin' in Hawaii's palette and I mixed the shades Pineapple and Sandy. They have like really beautiful shimmers, buttery shimmers, but these are like pretty old. So we are going to shift gears and switch it up with the Jaclyn Hill palette. I'm gonna go in with the third row, this first shimmer here and see where that takes me. To get that extra like effect, I'm going to spray it with some of this MAC Fix Plus. I'm gonna focus that kind of on like the inner crease like and blend it maybe like three fourths of the way. And again, I'm just gonna kind of blend that in with that darker lash line shade and that outer corner color just to make sure there's no harsh edges. Lastly, take that big fluffy brush and make sure the outer edges are perfectly blended. For the lower lash line, I'm gonna take a brush like this and go in with this shade here. Just kind of like add some shadow halfway slash three-fourths towards the inner corner. And this helps sculpt the eye and even distracts from any creasing that is happening. And then I will take these shades here and just really focus it on that lash line. And then I think a very important step is to take kind of like a cream liner, add it onto your lower lash line. It's gonna make your eyes look so big and give that like doll-like effect. And you can intensify the lower lash line once you've done that step. Now for um, my actual wedding day, I had eyelash extensions. So I did not wear any fake lashes. Uh, obviously I just have my natural lashes right now. So um, I think the best lashes to go in with are the Lately Lashes and the Style Miami. These just make your eyes look so big and fluttery and like a doll. I will pop these on. Okay, lashes are on. As you see, just like that eyeshadow and the lashes make the eyes look really nice and big and beautiful. Just to balance it out, I add just a little bit of mascara on the lower lash line. Now I am going to add some powder bronzer onto the cheekbones. I'm gonna use kind of like this fan brush right here to really give that, you know, contoured effect. So when you make your little fish face, And I even blend it onto the sides of my nose to just make sure that there's some color throughout my face. And then on the actual wedding day, I use Milani Blush in the shade Wild Rose. It's the rose blush powder and it's like a more matte yet pigmented powder. And again, just a beautiful color. So I'm gonna apply it to the same spots where I applied the cream blush. And then I'm gonna wipe away any excess powder or like fallout from the eyeshadow. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do some baking to enhance um, the contour and the eyeshadow. So translucent powder and the flat end of my beauty blender. And I even just kind of add more to the centers where I know that I tend to sweat a little bit. I am going to pop the inner corner. I'm gonna go in with the Jaclyn Hill palette and I'm gonna take this first shade here. I'm even gonna blend that with the highlighter that I'm gonna use on my cheekbones. And the highlighter I use is the Anastasia Beverly Hills and Reezy highlighter. I'm pretty sure this one is discontinued, but it's just such a good highlighter. Add some of that to the brow bone. And I'm gonna take the fluffy brush and make sure that everything is really well blended. I will wipe away that bake. I'm using that same Amrezy highlighter on my cheekbones and y'all, we wanna pop with our wedding. I apply that to the temples of the forehead, Cupid's bow, and then I do a little exclamation point on the nose. And then I take that blush brush and make sure that everything is really well blended together. Okay, then for lips, I use the MAC lip liner in the shade Cork to line the lips. And then I use this NARS Precision Lip Liner. And I don't remember the exact shade and it's off, but I'll insert it on the screen. And together, this lip shade gives such a beautiful, rosy, pinky, like beautiful bridal lip shades. Set everything with the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray because we want this stuff to last. 
I even tap everything in again with the beauty blender to make sure there's no weird splotches and that is it so if you guys have any questions about any steps or products i use please let me know i will probably list what i used in the um, description down below but for any brides out there just remember to smile on your wedding day drink lots of water and try to get as much sleep as you can and you will look beautiful so thank you guys so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed my little bridal makeup tutorial and i'll see y'all in my next video bye